Hello and welcome back to today's video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the futuristic presidential election map in the United States for maybe future elections in which states will be trending towards the left for the future and which states will be shifting to the right for the future. Basically, what I mean by right is, you know, Republican and what I mean by left is Democrat. And then obviously, which states will be having no change in effect, no change in difference, meaning they will probably stay the same. They'll probably be steady for a few more years. So with that being said, let's begin with the video. And we're going to be focusing on only swing states. We're not going to be doing every single state because that will obviously take a long time. So to cut this video shorter, we're going to be doing swing states only. So let's start off with Nevada. Nevada is shifting right for future elections as we can see and I'm going to give it slightly shifting towards the right. It's not dramatically shifting towards the right with like a great margin. Uh, no it's not. It's slowly shifting towards the right. As you saw in the 2022 uh, midterms they elected a Republican governor in Joe Lombardo and a Democratic senator in Catherine Cortez Masto. So obviously Nevada is not you know, fastly, you know, it's it's sort of a it's a sort of a slower pace. You know, it's still shifting towards the right in a somewhat degree, but not very fastly. And other states like Arizona, those states are vastly, dramatically shifting towards the left. Instead, of Nevada is a little bit more slower of a pace, but it is still shifting towards the right. But one thing to keep in mind is Nevada for Republicans in the general election being Donald Trump. The Nevada rejected Trump twice. They, you know, voted for Obama twice. Don't forget that. So Nevada is this still very, you know, it's it's still toss up. It's very swing. -y. You know, it's it's I think it Nevada is the most swingest state pretty much out of all the swing states. Nevada is probably the most probably toss up 50/50 of, you know, of the all all the swing states. So, you know, Nevada is definitely not trending left. For, that's for sure. Nevada is definitely not trending left. You take a look at shifts in some certain counties, you know, it's definitely not shifting towards the left. So even if you may disagree that Nevada is not shifting towards the right, it's definitely not trending towards the left. I think that's we can all agree on that. So if I had to pick one, I would say it would probably shift towards the right in future elections. You know, pretty much northern Nevada is very heavily Republican. Even the uh, Western Nevada, Eastern Nevada, pretty much just Southern Nevada. Southern Nevada is probably the most bluest uh, count uh, part of Nevada. It's pretty much Southern Nevada because if you take a look at anywhere else in Nevada other than Southern Nevada, it's pretty much all Republican. The only thing holding Republicans back from actually winning the state in the general election, which they've done in the governor's election, but you know, in the governor's and the Senate, is probably just a Vegas area. Other than that, if the Vegas area was never part of the state of Nevada, Nevada would be very Republican. But, you know, that's obviously where most people live. It's the Vegas area. So, you know, popularity. Moving on to the state of Arizona. Arizona is vastly shifting towards the left very quickly. Now, it's the total opposite of Nevada. Arizona is the opposite of Nevada. It's quickly moving towards uh, the left. Instead of Nevada, we're talking about Nevada is uh, slowly shifting towards the right. But Arizona is fastly trending towards the left and it went from being a Republican likely Republican solid state to a very to a swing state it went from you know this Republican state as we all knew to a swing state in a matter of years you know and take a look at the presidential elections McCain won it by 11 and then it dropped down by it dropped down to 7% for Romney so it went from 11% to 7% from McCain to Romney and then it went from 7% to just 3% for Donald Trump and the second election for Trump it went from 3% to about you know a little bit less than a percentage point for Joe Biden. So Arizona, as we all know, kept dropping down in numbers for Republicans and eventually flipped to Joe Biden in 2020. McCain, 11 percent. Uh, Romney, 7 percent. Trump, 3 percent. Trump the second time goes to Joe Biden. So it just kept decreasing for Republicans and it ended up going for Joe Biden in 2020. So expect uh, Arizona to be a solid Democratic state in the future and mainly the reason is for that is because a lot of Californians are moving and fleeing California they're moving to states like Arizona they're moving to states like Nevada they're moving to states like Texas and maybe even Florida um, but more so Texas and Arizona and Nevada so that's where Californians are pretty much moving and they're trending 
other states towards the left, just like Arizona, specifically Arizona, especially actually. Arizona is the most state that is getting affected by Californians moving. Um, it's, it's pretty much Arizona. Californians are moving and they are shifting the state towards the left. As we all know, California is a safe, it is a solid democratic state, so we have these people moving away from California to states like Arizona, and it's, it's definitely getting more bluer. California is helping Arizona get more bluer, and based off the electoral map, Republicans are in for a long, long ride if Arizona continues to vote to the left, which we are expecting it, it will, and it be, will soon become a, a safe democratic state if, if, you know, Californians continue to move into Arizona. It's just going to, you know, shift the state even more bluer. And, you know, because California, as we all know, they're fleeing to Arizona because it's cheaper and California is way more expensive. So it's ultimately going to flip the state of Arizona to the left. And it's it's going it's doing that very fast. Uh, so it's dramatically shifting towards that election. And obviously they just elected a governor, a Democratic governor of Arizona in the 2022 midterms. So that's good for Democrats. Carrie Lake was a disaster. We, we don't get into that. We, we don't want to get too deep into that. And then as far as the Senate goes, they obviously, uh, Arizona has been electing Mark Kelly for, I believe, three elections in a row. So as far as Arizona goes, it's obviously going to be a solid Democratic state in the future. Literally, all three statewide races, uh, sorry, all three um, major races in Arizona, the general election, the Senate, and the governor's race, all flipped for the Democrats. Uh, 2020, Arizona voted a Democratic uh, uh, nominee for president, for Joe Biden. In 2022, they elected uh, Democratic Senator Mark Kelly. Uh, in tw 2022 governor's race, they elected, obviously, they rejected Kerry Lake. So we can it's pretty much obvious that Arizona will be a safe Democratic state in the future. Guarantee that right now. And as far as Texas goes, I actually don't see a change in difference. I don't see an effect. I don't think Texas is shifting towards the right. I don't. And I also don't, you know, it is trending towards the left, but it actually is slow. It's really slow. I mean, Democrats hoped they would, you know, be somewhat competitive in 2016. That ended up not happening. Democrats thought they could possibly even flip the state in 2020. That failed. And in 2022, they elected Greg Abbott by a way more margin than he previously won. So, with that being said, uh, Texas is still a Republican state. Uh, don't that's not even arguable. That's not even arguable. They elected Republican governor by a huge margin. That was a good victory for Greg Abbott. And as far as the Senate goes, uh, you know, they typically vote Republican. Or actually, they always do. And the general election, obviously, expect them to vote for Donald Trump for a third time in a row. So Texas is still a Republican state. So I actually don't see a change in effect. And I think it's going to stay the same for a few more years. And I actually don't see Texas flipping towards the Democrats in maybe even 2032, maybe 2036. Mid-2030s will be the first time I think Texas flips. But in, you know, in, tw in the 2020s, the era of the 2020s, expect Texas to keep voting Republican. Mark my words. In the 2020s specifically. 2030s, uh, that we, that'll be different. But 2020s, expect Texas to keep voting re Republican. And now, moving on to New Mexico and Colorado. Those states, Colorado especially, is trending left for the future. And it's pretty much already a safe Democratic state, if not likely. Uh, likely, or, you know, if not safe already. And then New Mexico, I think New Mexico is slightly more competitive than Colorado is. But even though New Mexico is slightly more competitive than Colorado is, I think it still doesn't matter. They're both trending left for the future you know let's not spend too much time on those states so uh, we're halfway through the video let's you know quick summary nevada is slowly shifting right for the future arizona is fastly traumatically shifting towards a uh, trending towards the left in the future elections as far as new mexico and colorado goes those states are trending left for the future and then texas i just don't see a change in difference so now moving on to florida florida is heavily shifting right and for the future and it's happening very fast as we all know 20 points 20 points for ron desantis come on if he went from winning that state by two points to 20 points dude that's 18 percent more for ron desantis so florida is likely for any republican in any race whether it's the general election senate or governor's race it doesn't matter it's pretty much likely for the republican 
candidate, it doesn't matter who that candidate is, just, you know, Florida Democratic candidates, it's, they're just pretty much dead. They just are not competitive at all whatsoever. And that's the main reason why Florida is uh, going to be a safe Republican state. If not, it, it is pretty much safe for Republican already. Expect Donald Trump to win with a uh, great margin. So, not too much time in Florida. That's pretty much obvious. It's going to be a Republican state in the future, and I don't see it voting blue in a very long time from now, maybe in a couple decades from now. So, And then Georgia, I actually do think Georgia is trending left for the future. Now, it's, pr it's happening slowly. Arizona is trending left more faster, while Georgia is trending left with a you know slower pace because they just... Brian Kemp, the Republican, won more than he did in 2018. He went from winning in 2018 by two points to winning in 2022 by uh, seven points. So that's five more percentage points for Brian Kemp. So obviously that's good news for Republicans. Um, but then obviously two years in a row they have a Democrat. Uh, sorry, two elections in a row straight. They have a Democratic senator and Raphael Warnock. So Georgia is a swing state, as we all know. It's for sure a swing state, obviously. And it's definitely not safe for both parties. It's not safe for Republican. It's not safe Democrat. And if I had to pick one, you know, I would say it's slowly trending left for the future. But it's still up for grabs. It's still up for tables for both Republicans and Democrats. As we all know, Georgia uh, has a Republican governor, Democratic senator, and... I actually do have it flipping for Donald Trump in 2024. So it's definitely competitive, and I expect it to be competitive. But if, if I had to choose one, I would say it would slowly trend towards the left. And then North Carolina, I actually see no change in difference, no change in effect for North Carolina. North Carolina voted for uh, Donald... Uh, sorry, North Carolina voted for Republicans in four straight elections. Four straight elections. Uh, Mitt Romney, Donald Trump twice... Uh, so three straight elections, sorry, three straight elections, and Obama won. So three straight elections, North Carolina vote, voted for Republicans in the general election. And I expect that to be four straight elections in 2024. So as we all know, North Carolina typically votes for Republicans in the general, while in the Senate, that is completely different. And the governor's race, that's completely different, obviously. But I don't see North Carolina shifting right for the future. I just don't see that, and I also don't see it trending left for the future. If I had to pick one, maybe I would have it blue, but I just don't see a change in difference at all in the state. I expect it to. What I mean by no change in difference or no change in effect, I expect it to, just like in Texas, I expect those states to, you know, vote where, you know, what they are doing right now, pretty much similarly. I don't expect one state to, you know, go extremely far right or extremely far left for as far as north carolina and texas goes i have those states filled in purple meaning no change in difference i expect them to remain competitive is the word there or is the phrase there is the phrase there you know remain competitive um so now moving on to the state of new hampshire i also am going to fill that in purple i don't see a change in difference i don't think new hampshire is shifting right for the future definitely not shifting right for the future and I also don't really see it trending left for the future as well. I think they're going to, you know, pretty much be the same. They, they're going to vote the same way they have been in the next few elections. So now moving on to Minnesota. Minnesota is trending left. It definitely is. It is not a state. Minnesota is not a state that is shifting right for the future. It's definitely not. In fact, Minnesota is just getting bluer and bluer and bluer. They are very Democratic. They vote very Democratic in the governor's race and the Senate, both of them. And the, and the pretty much general, uh, general election as well. You know, Hillary Clinton, she barely won this state. But Joe Biden, I think, proved uh, that he's way better than Hillary Clinton at winning states like Minnesota. Obviously, winning with a margin of 7%. Uh, so, with that being said, Minnesota is going, to be, is going to remain a solid or likely, you know, likely if not solid, Democratic state in future elections. And it's trending left for the future. And I just don't see Minnesota electing a Republican in a very long time. Maybe maybe in the next couple of decades, expect Minnesota to keep heavily voting Democrats. Whether it's the governor's or general election, Senate, doesn't matter. Minnesota will continue to vote blue, uh, in my opinion. Let me know if you agree with that. And then uh, Wisconsin, actually, I'm going to fill that in purple. I don't see no change in difference, no change in effect. I don't see Wisconsin trending left, nor, nor do I see it shifting right. I see it at a steady pace. So, and as far as Michigan goes, 
actually do think Michigan is trending towards the left in future elections and expect Michigan to continue vote for Democrats. Obviously, Trump won it in 2016, but if you, if you ignore that win, other than that, Michigan has always voted Democratic, and I expect them to do so in the future. In future elections, doesn't matter really. Governor, Senate, general election, does not matter. Michigan, in all three elections, will vote uh, Democrat in 2024 and beyond. So Michigan expect it to be a Democratic state moving forward, as it already is. Um, so now moving on to Pennsylvania, I also think Pennsylvania is trending. It's a it's a lefty trendy state in my opinion. I don't see it shifting right for the future, especially for the future. Maybe in 2024 it could trend Republican, but other than that, it, you know, beyond 2024, I see it trending left slightly, slightly. Now it's it still will be close. We you take a look at 2022 midterms, for example, it Pennsylvania specifically trended towards the left, obviously electing senator democratically uh, governor's race democratic especially governor's race uh, pennsylvania loves democratic governors especially um and i expect them to vote democrat in 2024 all around the table i expect pennsylvania to vote blue in the general election for 2024 i expect pennsylvania to vote blue in the senate and governor's race in 2024 so i just don't see pennsylvania shifting right at all at all so there you guys go Oh, two states before we close out this video because we're pretty much done. Uh, Iowa, obviously, is a solid Republican state, if not, you know, likely as of right now, but if not already safe for Republicans. Um, it's just not at all competitive, just like, like at all. Iowa's just not competitive at all. So it's definitely uh, going to be a solid Republican state in the future, and same for Ohio. Uh, I think Iowa is more to the right than Ohio is. Let me know if you agree with that. I think Iowa is a little bit more to the right than Ohio is. Ohio is a little bit more competitive than o Iowa is. So, as you saw, Ohio issue one, that goes to show you that Ohio is far more competitive than Iowa ev it is. Even though Ohio and Iowa will still vote Republican in the future, uh, moving on forward, they still will be Republican solid states or likely states. Uh, I still think Ohio is slightly more competitive than Iowa is. It doesn't matter. Those states are sh still going to vote Republican. So there you guys go. Let me know if you agree with my map. A quick summary. Nevada shifting right for the future. Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, all three of those states shifting left in the future. Uh, Texas, North Carolina, Wisconsin, New Hampshire, those four states will have no change in difference. I expect, expect them to vote in a steady pace as they, you know, continue to you know have those uh you know continue in what they're doing with those four states purple states and then uh shifting right for the future florida ohio iowa obviously and then uh trending left for the future will be minnesota michigan and pennsylvania and georgia as well don't forget georgia and then don't for, uh don't forget to subscribe as we are about to hit 600 subscribers we are on the road to 600 obviously the goal is to hit 1000 so don't forget to subscribe and comment down below what states you disagree with, what states you agree with. And overall, you know, with this map overall, do you agree or disagree um, with my take? 